behind us are ships that go out into the ocean. You would think that in a flat earth that when you go out and you watch these ships as they go farther and farther out, they should get smaller and smaller, right? Right, exactly. But what would be the difference is if we see the bottom start to disappear. That's right. And Dr. Faulkner, well, he did a really cool experiment on this. Now, a year and a half ago, I was in Virginia Beach. It was early November and the water temperature was 62 degrees. I looked it up. I went to the beach that afternoon. The air temperature when I started in mid-afternoon was 50 degrees. So there's no way you're going to get this temperature inversion. You're not going to get this bending over the edge of the earth. So I set up my telescope uh, there on the, on the beach and put my camera on it. And I watched uh, two different cargo ships sail past and head out to sea from the port in Tidewater, Virginia. As the ship sailed out, the letters were covered more and more and more. Eventually, the hull was completely covered. And then you had like seven rows of containers and you only saw six and then five, then four, then three. Finally, you saw none. At the end, the ship turned and all you could see was the bridge castle on the back end of it. So I have the contradictory results. You know, row bottom sees this effect uh, at the Bedford level, but I've read his account of it and he did it on a summer day. Duh, there was a temperature inversion almost every day in the summer. Uh, no wiki did his photographs in the spring and summer. You have to do your due diligence and do it when there's no temperature inversion. And I guarantee you, when you do that, you're going to see these things disappear from the bottom up. So when it comes to the Bedford level experiment, the Chicago skyline pictures, or ships disappearing over the horizon, those who believe in a spherical Earth provide videos of things disappearing below the horizon. Proponents of the flat Earth show the opposite. And many might walk away saying it's inconclusive because the evidence can be used to prove either side. But here's the reality. We can accurately predict when we can see over the horizon and when we can't. It's not unknowable. And further, an inversion layer explains why we can see things over the horizon when the conditions are right. But there's no known scientific way for the flat earth model to explain pictures in which objects disappear behind the curvature of the earth and that shows it to be a round Earth.